You're probably staring at the banner to migrate across from the classic app to the new SmartThings application and if you are, you're definitely nervous about what it's going to do and you're concerned about what's going to change in your home. Well today I'm going to tell you exactly what's happening. Hello automators, thanks for tuning in again. I'm Brian from Automate Your Life and today I'm going to take the frustration out of automation by helping you migrate across. And the fact is you have to migrate by October 14th. I didn't just go through this process once, I went through it twice as I had two hubs in two locations at that point. I also have things like WebCore and virtual switches. I have Sonos, I have Amazon and Google integrations as well as many other cloud integrations all contained within my SmartThings platform on top of some interconnection work that I've done between Hubitat and SmartThings. With all of that, you can imagine it was a pretty complex thing to migrate, right? The entire impact to my entire home with hundreds of devices in it was two things and the first one was kind of expected it was the smart home monitor has to be transitioned and what that meant was i had to deal with a web core script or a couple of web core scripts and then i had to deal with some automations as well and this is to be expected i'll explain in a bit the other thing is some of the custom device handlers that i've had in the past well they don't have all of the graphics or all of the displays in the new application. But here's a little bit of insight into why this was so simple and so smooth for me and it will be for you. See, the migration actually accomplishes exactly four things. Number one, it asks you to migrate to a Samsung account or create a Samsung account if you haven't already done this. And I'm pretty sure all of you have, but if you haven't, this isn't exactly a complicated thing to create a new login. Number two, it migrates your routines to automations and scenes in the new application. And quite frankly, I think that this clarifies what you're doing in your smart home and I like it, but there's a little bit of an impact and I can see people struggling sometimes with where things are going and where it is in the new app. Number three, it migrates your smart home monitor to the new smart things home monitor and it eliminates the old smart home monitor. And this is the part where most of you are going to run into issues if you have any within the whole process. And the fact of the matter is, what really caught me was that I had some automations that were affecting things that weren't allowed anymore due to security concerns. And the same thing with WebCore. You can't really directly affect things in WebCore. So other than a three minute process to go and adjust things around, that was it. Number four, it migrates lock code management settings to what is called uh, smart lock guest access. And this is only if it's available in your country. And that's one of the things that has hit some people in the whole migration process. That's not available in their country. And from me to you, there's a heartfelt sorry about this, but that is what's happening right now. And you do have to migrate before October 14th. Otherwise, and let me lay this out for you, Web core, virtual switches, smart apps, your dog, your automations, your locations, your cat, your modes, things like action tiles, and really everything else I had set up in my home does not change whatsoever. And here's the big secret, guys. Here's what I've learned direct from Samsung. You don't have to hit that migrate button. It, it doesn't do anything more than those four things. What you should do is go hit that migrate button. I know I said you just didn't have to, but go hit it and find out your job list. Then you take those things and you can do them manually at your own pace just before October 14th. Then you can just start using the new application, getting used to it and feeling how it works and understanding what's going on. And then you can hit that migrate button if you want to have those last things occur. Otherwise, guys, it's what I've been doing for years. I've been using the new app and that's really what you have to do here. So go check this video out, which helps you protect your family just like I've done in my home with the new app and the new SmartThings home monitor service. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching. And of course, don't hate, automate.